Raise the roof. Is, I want to just stuck it to the rafters. Stuck it no. to the rafters. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> To another fifty dollar a week food challenge. Mm -hmm. Oh, not quite. Always. We are doing a seventy dollar a week food challenge, but the food that we chose today, that Lindsay picked up at the grocery stores, are more of a healthy variety than the ones that we could have found had we been doing just a fifty dollar food challenge. And we could have probably had enough food for fifty dollars. Have we taken away some of the fresh fruits and vegetables that we purchased and like you said the organic uh, versions of the things that we, that we got as well correct yeah i did try to pick up more organic um, <clears throat> items not everything was organic just because it doesn't necessarily fit in the budget all the right. time or i was at aldi and they didn't have the organic one so yeah <laughs> but so our goal was to eat as healthy as we possibly could for as little as we possibly could that was the, the challenge the challenge i gave Lindsay was to get for 50 dollars <laughs> but it's pretty much impossible so we what we have is um uh, ended up just under 70 and we'll show you what we got and show you what we're doing this week yes that's under 70 with taxes so. with taxes so yeah, more like 65 dollars so we're going to go over what we had one item at a time here and we'll give you the prices. What are you going to do? Just start on one and I'll pick it up and I'll show it. All right, so first we have our oranges. We got some heirloom navel oranges. <laughs> um, they were $2.98 at Sprouts Farmer's Market. It's um, not actually a farmer's market. It's a, um, grocery it's a grocery store, but it has a lot of organic stuff. And, um, and it's, sometimes you get pretty good prices there. So those heirloom navel oranges were $2.98. The next thing we have is organic large green peppers. These are organic green peppers. These they were, are strong. Mmm, <laughs> smell peppery. They were four at four. I don't know what that means. So four for five dollars. So we got four of them. And it's five dollars. Yes, they um, they were all of them. Were, the green, yellow, and red were all four for five dollars. They didn't have any yellow or. Green or yellow or um, red there, so I had to get green. So we got green. Yeah. And then we got um, a gallon of milk. No, we got a gallon of yogurt. No, we didn't get a gallon. No. We got some yogurt. <laughs> like that, I forgot to get the yogurt out of the yeah. fridge. Where is the yogurt? Oh, there you go. I was like, I got a gallon of yogurt. I know, I was like, wait, I'm still didn't get that either. All right, all right. So we did get some organic whole milk yogurt. This is yes. probiotic plain yogurt. What are we going to use for True story. the yogurt for? Um, I plan on making some um, overnight overnight oats Ooh, yeah. or smoothies or something. So. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was all we got at Sprouts, and then we're going to go to the items at Crest. Crest. Right, so at Crest we got some cabbage. It was... Look at how little this cabbage is. And he's making a face. I don't know, I think they're just shrinking them and charging more. I don't uh, know, but we got a little cabbage. 58 cents a pound. Yeah, it was on sale. So, for a buck. Um, and then we got some... Uh, uh, what is this? Popcorn. Popcorn. You got some popcorn. It's popcorn. some white popcorn, which is Lindsay's favorite. And yes. we can make these either in the pan or we have a little popcorn maker that we like to use sometimes. Yeah. So this is a good snack for all of us. Yes. And we got some Wasa crackers. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm sorry, honey. Oh. We got both sourdough and multigrain Wasa crackers. And these are good for those who are on low carb diets and. Those who just like lots of crackers along with some stuff in them. Yes. I've never tried this sourdough before, but I got them because I was like, oh, those might be good. Sounds good. We're into sourdough lately, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's all we got at Crest. And then last we went to Aldi. And Aldi yes. is where we got the majority of the items on our list yeah. today. So uh, first we had the uh, organic pink lady apples. And it was $4.89 for what looks like to be a four pound. 
Um, oh yeah, four pounds. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's what it is. It doesn't. They did not have the price of these apples. How much were they? Four eighty nine. <sighs> okay, because there was no price. <clears throat> Excuse me. There was no price there, and I noticed this about all the. I'll just say this now that a lot of things did not have prices. Um, like normally would so I don't know if it's just because things are changing so fast or they just aren't getting prices up I don't know they had gala apples there and they had a price on them for $3.99 so I was like well we like pink lady more than gala apples so that even if they're a little bit more I they'll be fine I, not a dollar the gala apples didn't look very good either so more. anyway okay and we got some bananas some organic bananas and these were 57 cents a pound for That's organic so which is little. nice buck 15 for these piquito the, bananas little, uh, little bananas they call them bananitos okay and we got some figs a package of yes jacob's already opened them mission fig but anyways figs. The figs were $1.95 yep sorry then we have two packages of beef smoked sausage, and these were three nineteen each, and that's a pretty good price for uh, these types of sausages. And we love the cheesy pasta that Lindsay makes with uh, these; mm -hmm. in it. they're so good. That's good. So we got that for those. And we got some. We um, got those for that. Ugh. Okay. I don't know what organic squash potato. Maybe it's, oh, this is the organic squash. <laughs> Just kidding. For $1.75 for butternut squash. And we got a package of green onions, and those were not that expensive. Well, 59 cents for the green bunch. onions. And then we have some peanuts. Wow. We got you. two packages of peanuts for $1.95 each. And these are dry roasted salted peanuts, and they yeah. are pretty good for a little package of peanuts. And then we got mm -hmm. some whipped cream, a quart of heavy whipped cream. This is used in coffee and Various other items. <laughs> we'll see coffee though. <laughs> other things this week though. Yeah. And then we got a package of uh, pasta. I did. I only bought one. So I bought one. Penne or rotini? Which one did you get? Oh, rotini. rotini. They did not have penne pasta. Oh, okay. So I have another one that's already been opened. So I'm going to use both of them. So anyway. Yeah. So I didn't some so how much was that? The, that was 80 cents. Yeah. Oh, okay. We got some organic diced tomatoes. Tomatoes. Or, or tomatoes if you live in the USA. Anyway, so <laughs> package of these was $1.59. <laughs> and that's a pretty good price for organic ones. I, do I think so. Often. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, I was happy with that. Because truthfully, the other can that's smaller than this, that's just normal, was not even that... Mm -hmm. Like less expensive, right. so that's good. And we got uh, two boxes of chicken broth, dollar seventy nine each for a box of chicken broth, organic okay. chicken broth as well. So yeah. that's nice. And then again, this was the same thing. I think the non organic one was like how much was this? Dollar seventy nine. Dollar seventy nine. I think the non organic one was like a dollar nineteen or dollar nine. So a little bit more, but. Yeah. And then we got some raisins. Raisins. Or okay, so as somebody is eating raisins already. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, so I bought these raisins. Okay. They were um. How much were they? Six pack for ninety nine cents. Ninety nine cents. So these are smaller than the sun made ones. Um, Six one ounce carton. Yeah, but these ones are um, point. One and three ounce. Yeah, curtains. and these ones are just one. But and then um, they still only contain the same ingredients, raisins. So there's no added sugar or anything like that. I'm gonna have a recipe. I'm gonna end up using these first and just replacing these with these. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we got some applesauce, and this is <gasps> unsweetened applesauce for yes. two thirty-five. We got some garlic, a three-pack for a dollar. <laughs> About $39, $39. And then we got some onions. And this is a oh, five right pack. This is six. Oh, six of them for yeah. $1.99. So they had some of the yellow onions. And they looked really They only had two bunches like this left of the yellow onions. And they looked too miserable. So I didn't get them. They had red. Is it purple onions? Like red onions. Yeah. Red onions. And I didn't want those. <laughs> so I got these. But I'll probably be crying. And then they had some onions there that say no tears. So I'm like, well, what do you do to the onion to make it not, like, produce tears? Do you know? And you inject it with chemicals. 
Yeah. So I chose. Heard it here first. I know. I chose to cry and know that even though they're not organic, so they're probably you know. But um, I was like, what do they do to these to make them not produce tears? I never. <laughs> okay. We got a package of potatoes. Oh, a big one. Okay. The They've potatoes. already fallen up. Like Brian already dropped some on the ground because the thing opened. Oh, that's so. a, these are the russets. It's a 10 pound pack of oh, russets sorry. for 379. That's fine. I'm sorry. This was 379 for the russets. <laughs> and the yellow potatoes are a uh, five pound package for 329. <laughs> yes. And then that's it. That's all we got. That's that's everything. That's the entire week's worth of food. It's all we yes. need to eat. Yes. Well, okay. Let's just. Okay, we're going to do a kind of. Yeah. Help us. No, 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 no. Don't start that because people will be mean to us again. I don't like mean people. They're so mean. Okay. So, a couple of things that we're going to have this week on our meal plan. And then we are going to use some things that we already have in this house. It doesn't make sense for us to buy something that we are trying to maybe go in a different route with. So, I'll explain. So, we are going to have overnight oats. One second. So, we're going to use these, which we already have, which we're moving towards. But if you wanted to buy um, oatmeal, they had them at Aldi for like two pounds for two forty nine, or the still cut oats were three oh nine for a smaller, like thirty ounces. Um, we'll also use flour. I did not buy flour, but we have flour, um, and we actually have more than this. So we'll use our flour because we are trying to get to a um, an organic flour or grinding it ourselves. Right. Um, so I didn't want to buy like just all the bleached flour. That's all they have at Aldi. And then at Crest and Sprouts, well Sprouts, um, it's better deal at Costco. So I was, I was not going to pay the money at Sprouts for it. And then Crest that had the same basically thing as Aldi. So um, like the flour at Aldi is $1.55 for five pounds. That's gone up. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what it was? Like, we really used we, we it. We paid $1.15 last time we, we yeah. had the same challenge. Yeah, so, and then beans. We have beans. We're going to use our beans. But if you wanted to buy beans at Aldi, they're $3.39 for a four-pound bag. Rice, we're going to use rice this week, was four seventy-five for white rice for um, a 10-pound bag. They had a smaller bag, but no price. Or if you want, like, jasmine rice um, is... $4.95 for, this is 80 ounces. I don't know, I must have wrote, okay. Um, we also are going to be using cheese this week. Not a lot of cheese, just a little cheese for a couple things. Um, and that, like a small brick at all these, $1.89 right now. So, um, butter. I have butter um, that we, I think, yeah, I have a stick of butter already out. So that was like, that's, I got the online price for this one because I forgot to check it in the store and so it was $3.19 online which is more expensive than if you actually go to the store yourself and get it but um, bacon we're gonna use some bacon this week for 16 ounces it was four dollars and sixty five cents then for our smoothies or our overnight oats I'm not exactly sure plan on using or some banana pineapple sorbet mm. Ooh, yeah okay I plan on using some frozen pineapples and also some frozen blueberries um, frozen pineapple at Aldi was or three dollars and forty nine cents. I did not get the size of the bag, and it was smaller. And um, the organic blueberries were six dollars and nineteen cents. I did not get the price of the um, non-organic. So with that said, if you so this isn't everything we're eating. We are going to be using ingredients in our home that we already have, um, and along with our um, staple items as well. Just want to put this in there. It's so important to make sure that you have staples. Like if you have extra money, spend it on staples, not um, necessarily potato chips. Potato chips or Oreos. Oh, um, because I was telling, we were looking at an ad the other day, and I was like, this is a discount if all you want to get is potato chips and Oreos. Uh, discount store, yeah. We were looking at uh, <laughs> some store that said that it's a discount store, but the only thing you could find that was actually a good price was like Bad the stuff. really stuff that's not good stuff for you. Stuff that you so. shouldn't be eating. Yeah. Um, but not saying that we don't sometimes because it does end up in our cart occasionally. Ice cream. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So when we, when we do have some extra money, we always try to bump up our 
pantry staples. Rice, beans, flour, um, frozen vegetables, salad, frozen um, fruit, sugar, um, bacon, sugar. Hello. <laughs> yeah, sugar, yeah. Right, exactly. oils. So, we use right. olive oil, avocado oil. I use bacon fat. So um, things like that. Those are things that right. you can make a lot of things out of if you just have the staples for them. So anyway. Yeah. So what's on the menu this week? This is what I'm from. Oh, okay. So we have loaded baked potato soup. It is amazing. So, so amazing. I was telling someone one time, like after church, what was in loaded baked potato soup. And she's like, why don't you just eat mashed potatoes? And I was like, because this is better. <laughs> because I was like, I told her I like to blend it up. I don't like having chunks, which I do have people in the family that like chunky potatoes, some chunks in their soup. So I might leave some in there this time. Um, it goes I'm back to yeah, it just goes back to bad memories as a child eating um, stew chunky with chunky soup. potatoes. Love you, mom. Anyway, I'm sure I would like it now. I just was did not have a mature palate at that time. <laughs> I don't even have one now. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> loaded baked potato soup. We'll probably have that two nights, hopefully. Right. And then rice and beans. We're going rice and beans. Rice and beans, beans and rice. So, <laughs> out of our pantry, rice and beans. Um, and <laughs> I was going to say, if, hmm, okay, so like the raisins, I bought a raisin to replace the raisin that I'm using. If you don't have enough rice and beans, then you probably should buy some rice and beans. <laughs> um, but we do have enough that. Um, I didn't need to buy some this time, especially there because they just didn't really even have what I wanted well, or yeah. a good price. So exactly. a so price that I wanted. We buy them by the 20 pounds, so it's yeah. it's, it's less expensive <laughs> and they're good. So they're yeah. Good. Anyway, so and then um, we're gonna have that, and then we're gonna have rice, yeah. beans, and cheese burritos. Yeah. So I will be making our own tortillas. Um, since there's no tortillas on the table, and I don't have any in our fridge right now, I'm gonna be making our own tortillas. Um, and then we might just do a night with baked potatoes and maybe some of the Polish sausage that's right there. Um, <laughs> and then we're gonna have uh, the smoked cheddar pasta um, also. And so some of those I'm gonna try and get two nights out of. If not, we're gonna just be doing a lot of um, potatoes. Rice yes. and beans. And then that lunches will be leftovers. We have peppers, we have peanuts, we have popcorn, we have um, these things. Right there's peanut Lots butter. of crackers. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no peanut butter on this table. So. Well, there again, it's in our pantry. So mm, yep. Needs to be. <laughs> and then, I mean, we have applesauce. I do have a recipe for applesauce that I'm going to use, but um, we can also have that. Raisins, because I'm not going to probably use all those raisins. Maybe. We got oranges and apples as well. So. Oranges, apples, bananas. I have some recipes for our bananas to use. I actually have a bunch of bananas that we need to use. And we've got 20 pounds of potatoes over there that will be plenty of food if we're hungry. Yeah. yeah. There's filler. Yep. And breakfast. Yeah. So also another thing that we're doing is we do have a sourdough starter. And right here I'm activating mm. some of the sourdough <laughs> for bread. So we will be making bread with a discard. I can make pancakes. I can make lots of things. Muffins. It's amazing how my brain went. I can make it when like empty. It happens. So there's a lot of things that we can do this week for that. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we're going to uh, show our meals as we go and kind of keep you informed uh, mm -hmm. and let you know what we're using in the in the meals of our own as well from our pantry. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll, we will show. So. Okay. Um, so the. Total from the three stores came out with tax sixty nine sixty five. Yep. So just under seventy dollars. That was with tax, so it's probably somewhere around sixty five dollars oh. before tax. Sorry. And like we said, we were using some of our own items. Um, getting all this for under fifty dollars extremely <laughs> difficult. It's like things are getting expensive. So um, get hold of some of your pantry items, and then you might need to use them along with your weekly food budget and earn some extra money. Yeah, I mean, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting all sidetracked now because my, our taxes at Aldi alone were like $4.13 and then... It's right around five bucks. Yeah, so... It's over five bucks. All right, sorry. So anyway, 69 65 and 
Um, that is a week. I think it's gonna be a little bit more than a week's worth of food, and we'll have some mm -hmm. leftover stuff. And like like we said, we'll be using some stuff that we have left over already, or we'll have some stuff left over for next time. Just kind of how food works. You can't eat every single item in one week, and that's all you get. Well, it's, it's really tough to uh, shop that way. It is. So anyway, uh, <laughs> here we go. All right. So today is day one of our fifty dollar a week challenge. I am about ready to make some breakfast cookies. These cookies I've never made before. I have the recipe off of the Biblical Nutritionist. They have applesauce in them, bananas, oatmeal, and I'm gonna put some raisins in them. Mm -hmm. All right, so, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these made up, and um, hopefully they'll be good because it'd be nice to be able to have these stop making a face because you don't know what it's gonna taste like. He's making a face. All right, let's go. So this is the applesauce I bought yesterday at Aldi. I can't remember exactly how much it has gone up in price, but I think Dan was saying it was like 50 some cents. Here's one that I bought previously. So I'm gonna use the one with the closer expiration date and then put this one in our stockpile. Yeah. All right, so I have the oatmeal banana raisin, stop making noise this piece. So I have the oatmeal banana raisin cookies on a sheet, a cookie sheet, and I'm gonna go ahead and bake them. It's like supposed to be at 3.50 and it, she does not say for how long. So um, at least I did not catch it. Well, it's in her cookbook and she's just sharing a recipe. So she probably doesn't want to give out all the information, I guess. I don't know. But I'm just going to do it until I feel like they're done. So Lindsay made, what are these called? We're calling them oatmeal, oatmeal banana, cookie. No, we're raisin, them oatmeal cookies. cookies with banana and raisin. Oatmeal, banana, like raisin that. cookies. And they are really good. It, it reminds me of a, um, a fruit bar or a, an oat bar. What do they call those things? Um, granola. granola bar. That's it. <laughs> granola bar. And but it's, it's really good. It's like a little bit soft. And well, she's still she got it just out of the oven, so it's warm and everything. That's really good. So um, this is something you need to replicate on future days for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll try and remember to list that video of the um, nutritionist since that's where I did get them. Awesome. Yeah, this yeah. is really good. All right. How do you feel about them? Mm -hmm. Jake likes them? Mm -hmm. Have you tried a bite yet? Yeah. And they're Ryan, pretty good. They're okay. Yeah. They're not sweet like cookies, right? No, they're just the banana is, is the sweetener. Raisins are the sweetener. <laughs> um, I should probably stop it. I could add some dates in it to make them a little more sweet. Alright. Yeah, he might like them when they're cooler. Okay, so I tried one of these um breakfast cookies too. And um Ryan's thing he said was texture. That he the flavors aren't bad. He doesn't necessarily like bananas the banana flavor, but it was more of the texture and I can kinda get that. Um as I'm a texture person too. But the flavors are really good. And I love the fact that there is um, just good ingredients in it. Bananas, oatmeal, um, and raisins. And, and it, nothing I put in it has any added sugar. It's all from the actual fruits. The raisins were just raisins. No added sugar in the raisins. Obviously bananas, no added sugar. So that's a good thing. Um, I don't, yeah. Anyway, these are good. I'd try them again. Um, maybe possibly try different variations um, on there. Uh, Ryan said cranberries, but the cranberries we have have added sugar in them, and we just usually like they, they put them on salads. The boys do. All right, so for lunch I'm gonna have some uh, fried eggs and sausage, and you might notice something interesting about these eggs. They are frozen, frozen. solid. It is 15 degrees outside, so we had a dozen eggs that froze. These split, so I'm eating these for uh, my lunch. So I'm gonna put a lid on them. It's so I'm gonna put a lid on them and thaw them out and then some sausage in there and should be good. Awesome. Thank you. 
Look at all that popcorn. So much. Oh, I love popcorn. <laughs> Okay, so this is dinner. We are having bread that I just made up, which is the quick um, Frigo Fit Mom. I didn't wait 24 hours, I just did it today. Yeah. And it's supposed to be loaded potato soup. Um, I have some kids that like chunky chunks of potatoes in their soup, so I love chunks in it. And um, also, some kids who don't like the bacon in the soup when it, it's cooking. So I cooked up bacon, which is, where's my bacon? Oh, it's in the fridge. <laughs> no, it's right here. Nope, that's for Shelly. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, I have bacon cooked up and I have some cheese and bacon. some sour cream if Dan wants some. I didn't mm. buy that yesterday, but I found one unopened in my fridge. Our fridge. Yeah, it's like special presents. I yeah, didn't know we had. Just good. And um, that's it. We're gonna eat. All right. Eat? I don't know. I feel like I don't know what that's to do. That's great. Let's do it. All right. All right. Good morning. It is um, the second day in our challenge, which is actually a Thursday. We started this on Wednesday, um, and we are having pancakes this morning. So I'm using everything that we had in our house um, that is we consider our pantry staples. The only thing, maybe milk wouldn't be, pan you know, I don't know. So, um, but <laughs> I don't know what necessarily what to say. So here's our um, our mix right here. Now, so we used our eggs. Um, I used some of my sourdough discard, about a cup or so. Um, I did not measure. I used some maple syrup to sweeten um, instead of the sugar that it called for. So it called for sugar. The recipe that I was looking at called for sugar, and we tried not to. I tried not to do very much sugar, so I'm using maple syrup instead. Um, just a little bit. It's not even that much. Um, baking soda, which I need to still fill this up. Um, baking powder. And then I, like I said, our flour, and then I did use some of our milk. Um, I also am using, which we consider this a, sorry, um, we consider this a pantry staple as well, coconut oil. So I have some coconut oil. Um, my pan is heating up, um, and I'm going to get some pancakes made. I, yeah, we're not moving all that fast this morning. <clears throat> I woke up congested, so yay. <laughs> And my dishwasher is running because we forgot to get it turned last night. So we're gonna have breakfast. Are you are you excited? Uh, Possibly. I was gonna put blueberries in it, but I did not get blueberries out of my freezer in time to kind of um, defrost. Here are the pancakes that we had left. So I actually made quite a bit, and we will have these for lunch. We'll have them for breakfast tomorrow. So that's our pancakes. Here are some of the oranges that I cut up. Um, these are really good oranges. And then Jacob had one pancake and then he had part of these. Um, I'm going to open it. <clears throat> he had part of these banana oatmeal cookies that I made yesterday. The breakfast cookies. Um, those are pretty good. But like they're not full of sugar. So apparently they're not getting eaten like crazy. That makes that shows you something right there. All right. So here is the potato skins. Um, that I saved from our potatoes from potato, potato soup. He, what are you doing with onions, beans, my dear? Beans. Oh, beans. Let me see. Oh, yeah, there's beans. <laughs> I, did, okay. I just saw onions. Yeah, I like beans here. Okay. Ooh, these are the um, 11 year old, like 10 year old beans that we have from uh, Washington State. Yep. I think my mom gave those to us, yes, right? That's yeah. True. Yep. So we're making some beans up, Dan. Makes excellent beans, so that's what he's doing. Potato skins, we're going to fry them up as well. And then here, whoops, here is my bread. So I've already cut, we've already cut into one. Um, there is a big old hole in my bread. I don't know if that's, <laughs> I don't know. But here's one. And then here is the loaf that I made for our neighbor. Here is our pancakes that we had. So we still have those. Um, and then this is soup. This is for the boys. This does not have any added bacon in it. And it has like a few potato chunks in it. And this is the rest for Dan and I for tonight. So, and then I forgot last night to cut up green onions for our soup. And that's why I bought them. I love green onions. I was, I can't believe I did that. So, oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. 
All right, so it is the second dinner of this, you know, food week God. challenge. It's just really, it's really good, but it's really hot. That's why I'm <laughs> Jan cut up some of the bread. Here's our potato soup mm. warmed up, and here are the potato skins that um, I saved yesterday and Dan picked up today. We had some more and we were eating on them. The boys really like them. Third of three batches. Yeah, it's the last batch. And then we are going to cut up the bacon, some green onions, and cheese. And Dan's beans are boiling over here. His beans are a boiling. No, sir. All right. So today is day three. This day is three. three. Yeah. We had two nights. No, day four. Four. You are busy four. Oh, yay. Okay, day four. So Why done. am I like, I don't know. All right, so tonight for dinner, we are having some of our rice. And I think we listed at the very beginning of this video, if you had to buy rice, how much it was at Aldi, but I could not have the price for the smaller bag. It, there was no price there. So, um, that being said, we do buy in bulk. So it's just about 90 cents a pound for the basmati rice there is what we pay. Yeah, so for the rice that we get, was it like 16.99, 17.99? Yeah, for 20 pounds. Yeah, for 20 pounds. So um, that's how we do it. Here are the beans that we've had since 2013. Yeah. I thought it was 2012. 2012. Yeah. So. Ten year beans. Ten year old beans. Three, right? That tastes good. You was still my baby. No, what do we? Why we do these challenges and we try and challenge ourselves is to obviously have um, good idea or try and have good ideas of food that we can eat that's cheap, but also it's where we can put money aside out of our grocery budget to stock up on things when we are running low or we feel the need. Does anybody else feel the need in the world right to now, stock up? I think we need to feel the need. Thanks. I know some people don't Sorry, feel the need, sorry. but it's this it's family. Fine. Oh, my poor baby. I just want to see it. Oh, The ice is no joke. All right, we're going to eat because uh, I forgot. I got sidetracked with his face. So. I said that mama's going to freak out. All right, let's eat. All right. Crazy. Yeah, your poor face. All right, today is day four breakfast. I think I was wrong yesterday and I said it was day four dinner. I don't know. Okay, this is breakfast today. This is Saturday. This is breakfast. We're just doing oranges, apples, some nuts banana I do have leftover pancakes still and um, some of those oatmeal banana um, cookie, with cookie breakfast cookies I'll show there there is less in there than there was and, and yeah something that daddy had some too and then I do have a little bit of bread also but maybe we'll save that for lunch if the boys don't want any so Okay, so it's Saturday afternoon I'm getting ready to get our dinner done so these are homemade tortillas that here's the dough that I had sitting. I made them earlier today and they've been sitting in the fridge. And here is one I'm cooking. I cannot make them round very well. Like occasionally I get a round one. But oh I just ripped it too. I need paint. I need two hands apparently. Oh, okay. Anyways, that is my tortillas. I'm gonna go ahead and get them made up and my kids and my husband don't mind that our tortillas are not round. Okay. Do you mind that our tortillas aren't round? Yes, Mama. Yeah, and obviously you can see all the flour and stuff on the floor I have from making my tortillas. <laughs> oh, my finger. Okay. All righty. No. All right. Tonight is our fourth night yeah, of bro, our, <laughs> our frugal challenge, food challenge of money. <laughs> or lack thereof. Or, yeah, exactly. Where'd you go? I was trying to film you. Okay. So here's the tortillas I made. I cut up the green peppers. We'll just one. Here's some more of our green onions. We have some. My husband made a mountain of cheese. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. We have some lettuce that we need to use up. Um, beans. I re I blended them. They're so good. Rice and onions and um, some peppers last night or last night. Onions and some peppers. Um, are, as well. I don't know what I was trying to say. As last right. night. All right, let's go ahead and someone's ready to eat. Let's eat. <laughs> All right, so this is lunch. It's 2.02, so it's like, Linner. yeah, dinner, kind of. I mean, we're just having leftovers, more beans, more rice, green peppers, onions, tortillas that I made, 
We actually did ran out, so we're gonna use the ones that we had in the fridge as well. Lettuce that we had in our fridge. That's what's happening right at this moment. <laughs> I am tripping. It is Monday morning and we are just having um, some leftovers. So I still have pancakes that I'm gonna warm up. I had an orange, a slice of orange when I got my shirt. Um, I have oranges that I'm cutting up as well. And then I'm about ready to get my bread going. All right, tonight is night six. I don't know why I can't remember that. Of our challenge, our frugal meal challenge. Tonight we had cheesy smoked pasta minus Ryan's because he doesn't like melted cheese. And then I um I have to show them again. I made no I made um some bread using my sourdough starter. Alright, so it is the last morning of this frugal food challenge and I made smoothies. So. Okay, so these smoothies are pineapple smoothies. So I used some of our pineapple. I put how much they would cost in the beginning of the video. If you bought them, this is James Potter. I used some of our yogurt and I used some of our natural sweetener. I actually have our trim healthy mama sweetener, some salt. So I also use yes um some of this pineapple extract that we had every time tastes like a pina colada starburst it's oh yeah kind of huh wow do you like it it's mm. kind of intense huh <laughs> but this is the first time i've made this um drink so um Laje. Coconut. It has some coconut in it. I used, what did I use for coconut? Oh, it's really coconutty. I, really? it doesn't even have that much coconut in it. I didn't put any, I used this, I forgot. I used um, just a That's tiny, tiny little bit of this, not even hardly anything. So I think the pineapple and coconut together is intensified. All right, so that is our breakfast. I made a mess with our smoothie. My house is kind of a mess. I made some um, natural, like natural lotion bars last night. So I have my little container out, and I got some stuff I gotta clean up this morning. So, all right, we're moving on with our day. Tonight is the last night of our food challenge. Already? Where are you going? Give me that water. Okay, and we oh, are man. having bread that's left over. This is bacon for the boys, green peppers for the boys, cabbage, and cooked cabbage for the boys. The boys made a whole bunch of potatoes. Little. Yes, they're little. And I put rice in there. Is that okay? Awesome. All right. <laughs> this is cabbage, um, leftover rice, um, Polish sausage, and baked some bacon and stuff like that. So that is dinner. All right, let's eat. My fingers in the way. All right, let's eat. All right, welcome back. So we're here to wrap up our week frugal grocery budget and one week. One week. It was actually a full week. So from the previous ones, we were kind of doing six days because each time we'd have a church potluck on the last day. It seemed like, but this time it was not. We went seven full days, three meals a day, oh, and. Just kidding. <laughs> I thought it was really good. The choices were healthy. Um, we had a lot of fr for the most part. Well, I think that's the case. I mean, we had some fr fresh stuff every day. We had, you know, we had rice and beans a couple of times, which was really good though, and with the fresh tortillas you made and stuff. Mm -hmm. But how do you think it went? Um, I think that this week was good. Right. Um, I'm always still disappointed that we didn't get it below the, what the number that we got it at right. but i actually feel okay about this because um we do have some items left over and i have used them up the rest of the week or going to use them up yeah. and then we did use items that we already had in our home so they didn't even go in to the budget of right. the week what we consider our pantry staples. staples so yeah. i used oats that i didn't buy one time during our frugal week yeah. um i used flour that i didn't buy what else did i use that i didn't buy rice and beans oh yeah yes. rice and beans we did list i bought the bananas we did list like what it would cost if mm -hmm. we bought those items as well i believe we did um 
But yeah, so even in this week, even though I bought stuff for the week, I didn't end up using it all, and I ended up we needed to use our pantry staples. So I can show you what we didn't use all of. All right, I'll show it. All right. This one, I don't know why I didn't use this all, or at all. No. I had it on a list with, I don't even remember what we ate that week that I planned on having this with, and I think it must have been kind of a crazy day. We're kind of going through a crazy week, so it probably just skipped my mind. So we had this to look forward to, and Dan's so happy about it. I love their nuts for I know. Okay. And then we did use up the whole bag of Yukon gold potatoes in our potato soup. And I brought these as well. And so we're right about, what do you think, half a bag? Not even. I think we used about a fourth of it. I know. They're very small potatoes. I'm cooking. I'm baking. Here, let me check and make sure it's not bad. Ow! Ow! Okay. Hmm? Yeah, it's not bad. Five more minutes. <laughs> All right, so, but we had these for, the boys had these for lunches, and we had them for dinner as well. So, then we have potatoes. So, I only used, like, more than a half of the box of this pasta. I was thinking I was going to use more. I thought I was going to double the recipe, and I ended up not. So, I still have some of that. <laughs> yeah, I wish. We used all of our raisins. Like that came back in like crazy. Woo! Woo. <laughs> we used all of our raisins, but I bought these raisins to replace the raisins that we ate with. So we would have ate all these raisins if I hadn't used the ones that we already had in our pantry. So I don't know what to do with that. We have an extra box. We have an extra box now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, we all ate all of our peanuts. Mm -hmm. All those things are gone fast. Um, I have a small amount of cabbage left that I actually need to use up. So we'll be using that up probably tomorrow, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. I made smoothies, though that was the other thing. I used fruit that we had in our frozen pineapple that we already had. So I planned on using this for other things. I was going to do overnight oatmeal and I just never mm -hmm. got it done for whatever reason. So, um, it's, let's see, I don't think it's half full. Maybe. I know. Oh yeah, it's probably close half to half. Yep. And we've been using that this week for smoothies. Um, the garlic that we got. I got three things of garlic and we used one and a half. So I have a full one left and then a couple others and then our onions I can't remember what how many was in a bag was it was it like, five or six yeah. yeah and I used two of them today for and yesterday and today for some meals that we made up and put away in our mm -hmm. freezer but um yeah they're growing do you see that I've never in my life had onions that I've bought and it's not like we haven't even onions we haven't even had them very long so anyway but we are still using them, or Dan wants to plant them, maybe, I don't she know. She won't let me plant them, though. I really do want to plant them, see what but, really happens. But. Yeah, we just did plant some. Yeah, we planted a bunch of sets, but that's a so different story. So we don't need that <laughs> um, And I think, is that it? Yeah, that was it, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, but it was a good week. We yeah, ate well. we ate really well. <laughs> I mean, there was never a time that I thought, well, like in previous I don't, or weeks that we did done this, I, we would kind of think, up till about past halfway through, is there going to be enough food? Like, did yeah. we make enough? Did we buy enough? But I never thought yeah. that the entire time. I was always full, and there was plenty of food each of the days. Um, so. And if, if you think so about it, why? It's because we used our staples. It is true. So staples are important. It is. It is to important. Be up. But truthfully, we didn't spend like the staples that we did use wouldn't have amounted to that much money anyway. No. So I mean, talking rice and beans and flour and. I guess there was a little bit of fruit there, but most of the price was the, I mean, most of the price, most of the food was the rice and beans that we used. And that amounts of maybe two or three bucks. I mean, those cost very much for those types of yeah, things. Yeah, it depends on what size you get. And right. I, you know, I don't know, like I said, Ollie didn't have their prices on everything. Um, so I wasn't able to get the cheapest price that there there is. And then the um, price online does not reflect what you pay in a store. It's a little more expensive if you go online, um, just because there's a charge for, that right. so um yeah but i think it went well 
I we ate well. We didn't eat really anything processed except for let's just say the sausage was not it was not the best probably, but we had that. Was there anything else that we ate that is processed? Can't think of anything else. My brain stop. We had the sausage in the the cabbage and sausage, and then in the cheesy. Uh, rice, no, sorry, cheese rice, the cheesy noodle stuff. Yeah, I used to make our tortillas, I used our bacon fat and um, I used our sourdough um, discard for that. Mm -hmm. um, the sourdough discard, the sourdough bread was nice this It last was week. amazing. Yeah, it was very helpful and I didn't need, well, you if you use your discard, you can use yeast with it. Um, but I did use yeast in the bread and stuff that I made, so you don't have to have yeast for that if you be able to have flour and water to feed it and all yeah. that stuff. So, um, yeah, I think it went well. Are you ready to do another one? Yeah. We have to we do another one. We pretty much need to. At we this need a point. cow. <laughs> oh my goodness, that would be so nice to have our own cream and milk and eggs. Yeah, and I'm going to check that. Get the eggs from our cow. <laughs> no, butter. Hello. Almost. Our own butter, that'd be nice. I actually saw a, a Jersey cow in the, in the paper, and those are like high fat, um, high cream content oh. cows. And that was about almost $1,000 for the Jersey cow. Yeah, so we are doing frugal budgets so we can live. put money. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hello. Um, but we, so we can put money aside for, yeah, our garden and getting a cow. But also that being said, um, our frugal budgets are getting more and more expensive as it gets goes yeah. along because the price of everything is going up. And you look at mm -hmm. anything; it seems like all food related items are up thirty percent. And people say that you know that's oh no, it's like a seven percent. Um, I call that uh, inflation. No, it's not actually. With ah. most things, it's about thirty percent. We've been yeah. noticing an increase in stuff. Yep. I mean, and now gas. Oh goodness, gas mm -hmm. is crazy. Mm -hmm. Even here in Oklahoma, yeah. we're almost four dollars a we gallon. We paid three. Fifty nine. Yep. Three fifty nine for gas here in Oklahoma, just a couple it's days ago. Usually very inexpensive here in the state. So we're like this one of the year. least expensive states in the entire United States. Yeah, it's depressing. It's so depressing. But we have one exciting thing. Let's go grab. One exciting thing. You don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. You are. You know what it what is. What is it? You don't know what I'm grabbing. I have no idea what she's grabbing. Da, da. It's a box. She likes boxes. <laughs> Oh, Woo! I see what it is now. Here we go. What is that? An, incub an egg incubator. We're going to become chicken farmers. Chicken what? Farmers. 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 I was like, what's a farmer? Farmers. Chicken farmers. She's trying to be fancy. She wanted to be a chicken mama for a long time. so. Chicken mama. Yes. So we looked at chickens at the store. They're $4 a piece. Yeah. And. For chicks? Mm -hmm. When did that happen? Four dollars a chicken? I don't know, but we're going to have our own chickens. I'm excited. So excited. Coming to our Coming to a homestead near you. No, coming to our homestead soon was I guess oh. was what I was gonna say. Coming to a homestead near baby us. Chicks, baby chicks. Anyway, so that's okay. that's cool. And then so <laughs> the newest thing we got going is Trim in our trim house too. along our floors, We've which got is so nice. Trim going in, it's and good. we're finishing it up. I I just filled all the nail holes yesterday. We're trying to um, you know do the caulking, and then one last coat of paint, and we'll be done yeah. with our trim in our house. So. Well, okay, no, no, we'll be done with a lot of the things that we're going to do. Shh, stop! Why do you keep trying to make it worse? Because I just because trim in several rooms. We have more rooms to do several because rooms. sadly we have to go back in and repair some walls. Repaint, yeah. Repaint. And, and we ceilings. have another ceilings. project that is coming up in our house. Yeah. He doesn't know about it. No, he does oh, actually. Yeah. I know. I'm I actually right. bought the wood for it not so long ago. So yeah, that's good. It's so expensive. It's so stupid to do be, be doing projects. But I feel like this is actually beneficial. I mean, yeah. which, which project are you thinking that way? I'm talking about okay, the yeah. shelves. Yes. Uh, we're, we're making um, shelves for our canned goods and storage items um, inside and in our laundry room. So inside yeah. the dining room and our laundry room as well. So Yeah, we're changing up our pantry yeah. and it will give us more room. 
Yes, more shelves, more room. I'm going all the way to the ceiling. Was it someone? One of these. Uh, stack it to the wrappers. Yes, yeah, stack it to the wrappers. Right, I've seen that the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't um, think they do this. I, they should. They though. should they absolutely. Should. It would be like yeah, their catchphrase plus dance <laughs> or symbol or whatever. <laughs> I have no idea, but anyway. Raise is the it, roof. Is that what it is? Stack it to the rafters. Stack it no. to the rafters. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, all in all, that was a, it, was, it was a good week, and we're going to continue to do these challenges. Mm -hmm. We're going to probably will supplement a lot um, you know, each time with some of the sto stores that we do have and show you the meals that we have planned, trying to go over the price points of the items that we have yeah. plus what we purchased. So, yep. we're going to continue. It's, it's needed. Allow us to put some money toward our homestead, um, building up stuff, and um, things are expensive, so we kind of need to be frugal anyway. Yeah, that's so. a must. <sighs> right? Right. All right. <laughs> All right, have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. It's a big week challenge right here. I am taking these potatoes and I'm gone. I'm not letting anybody have my food. I gotta eat. I'm a grown boy. I gotta eat. I'm not letting anybody else get me. We're down to the last oatmeal cookie. I hope you can hear me.